Hi, my name is Patrick, and I know nothing about car care. Hello and welcome to Maguire's, welcome to a new series called Detailing 101. My name is Patrick, if you don't know who I am, then I am the, I suppose, content creator for Maguire's. I film stuff, I make, take pictures, make videos. Uh, behind the camera you have Dale, he will be helping me out with this series today. The crux of it is, we're going to teach you how to detail your car. Well, we're going to teach you how to detail a car. Well, they've heard you now, so you may as well come on camera. Come in on in, Dale. Come on in here. Here he is. Don't be shy. What would be the first thing we would do when you're detailing a car? <clears throat> be assessing the situation. Okay. So be assessing the car, looking at what needs to be done. Um, so we can clearly see that the car is very dirty. Yes. Uh, we can see that the, the wheels need doing. Um, yeah. There's a lot of grime and dirt along the, the bottom of the seals and the bottom of the bumpers. What we're really covering on here is the basics. And again, if, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you. But if you are new to this, you're new to Maguire's, you're new to our process and products, this can be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes, and little things like two bucket method and grit guard. Perfect. Now, I may just stress, I haven't washed this car since I've been here. No. Like, oh no, I've washed it once, and that was about three months ago, so it is absolutely minging. Um, now this is my actual personal car, and like I said, I'm new to Maguire, so I know nothing about car care, I know nothing about cleaning, I know nothing about wash mitts, shampoos, any of the products yet. Well, I say anything. I know some, not enough. So, <laughs> without further ado, <coughs> video one, wheels and tyres. Yep, that's exactly video one. That. Video one, wheels and tyres. Let's do this. So we're gonna crack straight on uh, with our ultimate all wheel cleaner. Now this is a pH balanced wheel cleaner, so it's safe on all wheel types, whether or not they're powder coated, two pack lacquered, or bare aluminium, if they're just like a polished rim. Okay. Um, so as you can see here, you've got a fair bit of um, road grime and dust on the car, uh, which is typical, you drive this everywhere. You yep. know, it's your daily driver. It is my daily driver. So what we're gonna do is with our ultimate all wheel cleaner, we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to go left and right. This way, if the product does run, now it is a gel so it will cling to the tyre, but if it does run, it runs down the wheel and interacts with more product. Okay. Now people, if you've ever had a situation where you've washed the wheels and you've had kind of acidic streaks on the car, and that's because it's kind of just been put on each way, each way possible yeah. and it's ran down the kind of wheel and it's stained it. Right, now, so there is actually then a system to putting on wheel cleaner, it's not just completely random. Exactly that. Fine. Little checkpoint one, there's a system to put in a wheel cleaner. Stop from the bottom, work your way up to the top. Yep. And As just, you were. And just to say again, this is a pH balanced product, so it's not an acid cleaner. As you can see, just getting a nice kind of even spray everywhere. Once you've got kind of good coverage, get on the tyre as well. Then you can kind of work your way around these awkward bits. The areas, yeah. And because it is a gel, what we can do is just let this dwell for a few minutes. Now, what we're going to do is kind of jet wash it down um, to see if we can get it off without agitating it. Yeah. Now, if you've got real hardened grime, you might need a soft nylon brush or a wash mitt with some water, uh, soapy water, to kind of really get in there. Okay. Um, but because these um, are recently painted, and I don't think there's the heavy defects in there, I think the wheel cleaner is going to be fine to completely remove that dirt and grime. Perfect. When this wheel cleaner kind of really <coughs> starts to work, and you see it start to work, all the runs and all the foam starts to go purple. So that's how you know that the the product is really reacting with any kind of dirt and grime that's on the wheel or around the kind of wheel area of the tyres. Um, because my wheels are kind of a dark grey colour, you might not be able to see that. Um, but we're going to do like a little time lapse so you can potentially see some of the purple and we shall show you before and after of the wheel. So as you can see now, this wheel's really got some purple going down on it. 
What's the? Is there a format for jet washing off the wheel as well? Or? Um, you're looking to jet wash the wheel, so we are using pressured water. But I would always advise instead of going full, full kind of full bore with it, kind of go down a few steps because you don't want to be pelting too much water into quite sensitive areas. Yeah. Um, keep it at a nice kind of angle. Never hit it directly because if you've got stone chips on the wheel or anything like that, you're just going to be peeling away paint. Okay. Right, so and for people without a pressure washer, you can just use a hose. Yep. Stick Open your thumb on hose. the hose, almost something like that. Exactly right. Right, so the wheel is now super, super clean and hopefully you can see a bit more of a difference from when it was last dirty slash before it was washed. So Dale, super easy, super quick, super simple. Yeah, and that's what this whole series is about. It's about making the most of the products but in the easiest way. So this is not an in-depth detailing course. This is kind of a beginner's guide to Meguiar's products and how best to use them. I am a beginner and really know nothing. Part of the the wheel and clean tyre session is just quickly drying them, there's nothing too confusing about this. Microfiber towel or something like that, wipe the tyres, wipe the wheels just to give them a, a quick dry right down. Exactly that, especially for the tyre. So we want to make sure that the tyre is completely bone dry and clean before applying any tyre dressing. Okay. Uh, that way uh, you can avoid all that sling that can be quite off-putting when using tyre gels. Um, and we'll, we'll show you the biggest way of avoiding tyre sling when we use the product. We covered earlier that the tyre needs to be completely bone dry and clean before application. This is going to make sure the tyre gel sticks to the tyre and doesn't sling down the side of the car. Now the other way of avoiding tyre sling is using less product. Now per tyre, you're going to be talking about a small ribbon like that. We're going to apply it straight to our tyre dressing applicator and then just kind of gently just feed it into the tyre like this. Now myself, I prefer a satin finish um, and if sometimes if you find that it does look a bit too glossy for your taste. Just wipe it with a clean microfiber towel and that's going to even out the finish. But if you want it even glossier, do all your tyres, leave it a few minutes and then reapply the product. And again, we're just gently feeding this in to give it the longevity of protection. So like Dale said, just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you how much he used. So it's literally just a small ribbon like that. And that's enough to kind of do your majority of your tyre. If you need to rear part, that's absolutely no problem at all. So, like this. Round the wheel. Half A. The great thing about the tyre applicator is this is going to stay primed once you've used it. So if you've done all your tyres, there's going to be quite a lot of product left in there. So once you've used the tyre applicator, shut oh, it in this case like that and when you come to redo the tyres the next wash that's going to be fine to use for the first two or three tyres. Brilliant, nice little keep clean place. So to recap, what we've done with Patrick today is to teach him how to clean and dress his tyres. So we've cleaned the wheels using our Ultimate All Wheel Cleaner and then we've dressed them using our Endurance Tyre Gel with the applicator pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link information to all these products in the description below. So if you need any more information on how to use them or whatever, then hit the links in the description and you'll be able to follow that straight to our website and have a bit more of a read about them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative, I hope it's been easy for you to understand and I hope you realise that this is really going to be Dale teaching me and you how to detail your car. And Tom. And Tom and get Tom. involved. Don't you worry Tom, you're getting in this as well. He's not getting away lightly. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you like this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to the Maguire's UK YouTube channel and stay tuned for more Detailing 101. Are you, are you just going to, okay? Yeah, cool. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Hello. We're parking. You need to be in this as well. Well, I need to awkwardly stand here while you introduce your series. Oh. Alright All right, then. Okay, and that's basically it. So, oh, just want to quickly re so that's basically it. I want to read quick. Hey there, hey there. So that's it. I just want to quickly recap the products that we've used and that's it. So Patrick, well done, you bet. That's it. That's how you clean the tires. Oh no. Do we do it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to do it? Yeah, go for it. I can't speak, can I? All right, come in. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, ready? Come in. Come in. Six. <laughs>